Folks, this is Gary Gunn. We're showcasing uh, Tim Ross, uh, a guy that I've known for maybe 20 years, something like that, Tim. We go back to the, you know, doing things together with direct mail and Advo. We'll bring that word up, uh, you know, all those different things. And and uh, glad to have you on the showcase. And, and the question I want to present to you today is that as these shop owners put out that mail in their two, three or four mile range of their businesses and that phone starts ringing, what are some of the X's and O's that you found out that what do they have to execute to make that direct mail pay off immediately? What, what, what do you find? What are the three, maybe four top things? No, those are great questions. You know, the, the beauty about direct mail is that it is a direct response vehicle, right? So when you send it out, people are going to come in. And so what we have found uh, is the successful shop owners they're preparing their team, right? And so some of the things that that impact that direct mail are one, our customers, when they answer the phone or when someone comes in, are they prepared for the customer flow? Do they have enough service advisors? Do they have a right a process, you know, in their shop that take on these customers and get them through some kind of a sales PMI process um, to, to process them correctly? Secondly, is do, do the staff even understand the offers that are available? You're going to get people that call or come yeah. in or asking, hey, I heard about this $10 off this or a free break check. <clears throat> are your team you know, at your shop, are they prepared to answer those questions so that it sounds like they're competent and, and, you're, and you're all on the same page, right? You know, and the, and the last part would be, you know, are, are you staffed correctly to be able to manage a, a, a direct a flow of customers from start to finish, from meeting them uh, at the curb or answering the call to taking on that car and bringing them in the system to getting them back to the shop uh, for a PMI in a timely manner, right? Do you have a process in place then to talk to the customer about what's going on, what recommendations, you know, all these things. So you're spending all this money <clears throat> to drive these customers to the store or to call you, if you don't have these operational efficiencies in place, if you don't have the staffing in place, then you're really going to struggle to be successful with direct mail or any marketing that you're spending. Yeah, yeah. And I, I wore my green shirt today in, in honor of, of Tim Ross and all, all you guys have done for the automotive industry. And, and you know, the green indicates there's money to be made. Of course, you got to spend a little money on direct mail. It costs. It costs to do Facebook ads. It costs to do yellow pages. I mean, it was used to, there's always been a cost to marketing. Mm -hmm. So I know for experience with working with shop owners that if they get those things in order, it gets in the X and O's when that phone starts ringing and their team is ready, their staff is ready, that's the payoff. And that's when the, the bottom line turns green, if that makes sense. So thank you for sharing that, Tim. Uh, Anything else you want to share just quickly on this particular segment? You know, I would just tell people that, you know, when you get to go forward on your marketing plan, just make sure you include your team, uh, train them on what your expectations are, set your goals so that when you do a marketing, uh, whether it's direct mail or any other tactic, you've got your own internal KPI set up so that you can track and judge how well your team did, how well they performed and what changes you need to make to make it better next time around. And great points, great points. 